Um, this is a device, this is a picture of the device in operation at NC State, uh, actually where we were a good two and a, a year and a half, maybe two years ago. Um, this is the device, we're going to show you a little bit better pictures of it in a little bit, sitting in a CNC machine, uh, the student operator uh, working with the software, and basically the way it works is that currently the way that one gets the machine dynamics out is you go up to a machine tool with a spindle tool holder, tooling in there, and you say hello, you hit it with a hammer, bing, you hit this thing with a hammer, and you send it back through some electronics and some other devices, and it comes back and gives you the information you need for, this, for the dynamics. Well, you might imagine when you're hitting something manually like that, there's a lot of variation. You can get double hits, you can get all kinds of problems with this sort of situation here. What we're hitting it with is an electromagnet shown here. So this is a very, maybe a high-tech application, but it's a very low-tech device. What we have here is uh, a chunk of iron with some wire wrapped around it to create an electromagnet. The tool is going to go in the center here, and this is some sort of a, a post for a displacement sensor. So now what we're hitting with the, the tooling with, is instead of with a hammer where you're making contact, we're hitting the thing with an electromagnetic pulse. Um, we're reading the, how it vibrates, the, 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 the movement of the part with that displacement sensor you see down here on the bottom right. Um, this is its and its mounting. Here it is with the tooling actually in place and get the information we need out to get the story started. Garbage in, garbage out. I can have the best theory in the world, the best software in the world, unless I've got good dynamic reading on what I have, I'm not going to make good predictions for you guys. 